Okay, so as long as all of the triangles are completely on your working area here, and moving around like that, um, the area of yellow, as long as you've got all these guys completely on, the, on your um, base plate or your reference square, um, the amount of yellow exposed is always the same. So now what we could do is let's make some squares, because squares are easy. We know how to measure squares. We know what the area of a square is. It's A times A or A squared. So let's make some squares. We'll put these back together again like that. Put this over here. Let's say go like that. I'll make another thing here. Go like that. Okay. So now the all the triangles, all the right triangles are completely on the reference area. Now the area of this square here is B times B or B squared. And this area here is A times A or A squared. So we have this area is A squared plus B squared is equal to something. Okay, so uh, what we can do is let's see if we can make another square somehow. Because squares are easy. We don't, you know, A squared plus B squared is the total area of yellow that's exposed. So now go like this, maybe go like that, and then go like this, and now we've got all the triangles are completely on the reference square, and lo and behold, the area of this uh, it's a square. Look at that. How about that? C times C is C squared. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We have just proved the Pythagorean theorem. Woohoo! Praise the Lord!